I'll be showcasing you guys the best combo with each weapon in Rampant Blade Battlegrounds. The best combo with this weapon, guys, you use the second move, fourth move, third move, and this move. And then you just M1 till they die. The next weapon combo we have is with Sapphire Rose Daggers. So the way you use this weapon, you need to parry them first. So and there you go guys, that's essentially how you do it. They can just like teleport behind them and do it again. But the main point is just to parry them so they can like do damage. Because when there's time to do additional damage to them. So next up we have this <laughs> Angelic Sovereign Ass. So this weapon is pretty bad. There's really no combos for this weapon. Um, You just use the second, third, first move. And then you run away and use the fourth move. And, and that's pretty much the only combo. And then you just M1 them. The next combo we have guys is with Lavender Night Gauntlet. You use the second move to empower yourself. You dash, slam, stun, and M1. Power up, dash, this, bam, and, and then you execute them. Next move, next move, we have Mecha Academia Lands. Uh, use the fourth move. You can use the third move, second, and just this. Fourth, third, second, first. Or you can do fourth, third, first, and then second. Fourth, third, first, and then you use second. So it's pretty much essentially the same thing. That you get them just as low as you would anyway. The next one we have is the Warpath Goliath Axe. So from what I can tell, Use this, 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 and and just M1. So this wax only has one attack move, and that's the M1 and the fourth move. So that only a fourth move is attack move. This, 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 spin around in circles, and then you just bam, 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 and bam. Next up, we have Royal Gauntlets. You come in, first move, you slow them, you do this move, and then you just smack him in the head or what you can do other than that is you use this 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 and this the next weapon we have is the cyber lilac so now this weapon is only pretty much good when you have stacks of kills on it but when it's in normal form it does really not that much stuff so speed this blah and the baby bam and that's pretty much the best thing to do with this move. If you have 5 stacks on you, 5 kills on you, it's gonna insta-kill pretty much anyone. Next up, we have the Azure Slasher Gauntlet. What you're gonna wanna do is come in at a distance, basically, and just use this move. Charge it up if you can. This, M1, 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 M1. And you can either use this move to speed up yourself, or if you're low, you can use the fourth move, which just makes you immune to dying. And then when you try to run away, you just spam this move. The next weapon we have are Serpent Tear Daggers. So essentially, the way you use this weapon is very funny because I don't have, I don't literally know. Use, you use this move, this, 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 bam, bam, and then you just M1 and stun them into oblivion. All right, boys. So next up, we have the Night Slayer Daggers, the Game Pass weapon. So this weapon, and essentially does a hundred percent damage bonus when you're invisible go invisible throw these two knives and just one shot them pretty much that's pretty much how this weapon so the key is so let's say i'm invisible blah 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 and i just come to try 100 damage boom or when they try to run away then you use this this move to slow them down so try and try to run away from me as you can see, I, I have slowed them. I can just hit him with the kunai to death. Next up, we have the Vampiric Ember Axe. This, this, and just this and M1s. And that's pretty much all you can do with the second, fourth, and first move. Or you can go fourth, second, first move. So this right here, guys, this is what you call the Azure Passion Axe. So essentially, there's a simple combo with this. You go fourth move to hook them. This. And then just this, or you can use the third move, second move, and then the third move. Pretty simple stuff. Or you can also do this you throw this at them, you hook them, and then you just slam them, and then you use this move. Alright, boys, next up we have Dawn Order Sword. So, my friend Tron is an expert with this weapon, so he gave me this combo. So, he says you go second, first, and fourth move, and then you just spam M1. Second, first, fourth, and if you're low, you'll pretty much kill them instantly with that. Alright, boys, next up we have Raven Crest Sword. The fourth move, the two move twice, bam. And then you can just spam this and run away while you spam it. Right, guys? Pretty simple combo. Fourth, third, second, first. That's pretty simple. So, forward, fourth, third, second, first. Venom Reactor going to go first, third, fourth, and second. And they're pretty much dead, as you can see. Even the new people that come at you still die because you're just gay. Go, you can do this, too. You go fourth, first, 
this and this and that's it they're dead next up we got the astro mount land so he says we need what you need to do with this weapon is third first fourth and then second and then you're like gaming Okay, we have the draft steam stream sword next first ability and second and that you use the fourth and then you use this ability and this ability and this ability and this and then you spam yeah, them. Yeah, just like that, but you, you kind of miss people. I call this, I call this, I call this, I call this. Boom, bam, and bam, bam. So the moves were third, fourth, first, and then you use second. Or you can use second and then first. Next up we have Templar Dagger. So you use the first move end it second and third and that's it that's all you have to do the key is to end your first move and you end it by clicking again by using it again you use you earned it earlier first bam 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 pretty simple and pretty easy to do the next open is a sanagi my favorite combo to do with a sanagi is fourth third first and second usually if they have more hp the second doesn't kill them but it stuns them but then you can just execute them and use your abilities again all right boys next door we have Uminagi. all right so you use this dash boom and if they try to run you use the tornado pretty simple you can just m1 them if you want you dash into them use this 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 and this and if they try to go backwards, they'll just die from death. So pretty cool. All right, boys. Next up, we have the Abyssal Requiem land. All right, fellas. So look, let's say I want to get this guy, right? One, two, bam, bam. And if you can parry him, you can execute him. So you use second move, third move, and then you use the first. Crimson Fist Gauntlets. These two moves that you have right here. The so one stuns and one gives you boost. So you go boom, bam, 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 bam. And then you bam. Next weapon we have is Battle Axe, Black Rock Battle Axe. This is how it goes. You go boom, bam, and then bam. You just explode them with the fourth. You go second, boom, fourth, and then you just spam first because they can't do anything except stay frozen. It's a very simple combo, works very really well. Alright boys, next up we have the Oblivion Lance, which is a completely new weapon added in this game. It's one, two, three, four, and you consume the stacks and you dash. And it should do additional damage based on how many stacks you've done. Stacks, which is your main thing, you hit them one, you, feel, you hit them a few times, you eat the stacks, you use this power of the stacks, you can see buff damage. You can just hit him a few times again, use this, bam, and just execute.